Hi guys. It is just another cold, gray, yuck, slit your wrist, depressing kind of winter day. Here in the end times where we have stumbled and fallen into uh, Friday morning, October 4th, 2019. And it is official. And my little tail is officially a Yankee. I don't have my New York driver's license. Of course, as soon as I get back to Texas, I get to get a Texas driver's license to deal with the fucking IRS so I can d pay all those fees going through all that shit again. So when I get back up here to New York, I can get another New York driver's license. Uh, anyway, we've heard enough about that. Uh, so, anywho, guys, I, I didn't. I don't know what to. Uh, I, I've got so many competing things. Do I go full Doomer or do I just go? Uh, just is this? the Twilight Zone or the Onion uh, that we're living in. So maybe I'll just split this up. We're gonna, we're gonna delve into the Twilight Zone for a minute and and sometime I really need to do a, a long uh, rant on, on this whole th th this whole debate because uh, you might be surprised about my eco Nazi. I, I have to admit I am on the fence about this subject. Okay, this is Business Insider, this long involved story, but little dog, I'm sorry that I'm having a hard time dealing with this and you. You've got to go back to bed like that. And you say, fine with me, Pop, put me back in the damn bed. Don't step on my driver's license. All right, take it away, Business Insider. Before we put, before we put people on Mars, we should infect the red planet with earthly microbes, a group of scientists say. And as I say, I don't have time to get into it now, but I don't necessarily have a problem with what they call panspermia. But uh, anyway, this is, this is how the mainstream media is broaching the debate. <clears throat> And I'm just going to give you the uh, the takeaway. This is a long, involved story. I'll put the link on here. I'm just going to read the takeaway and the closing quote. Okay. <clears throat> NASA and private companies like SpaceX want to send people to Mars. A group of scientists suggest in a new paper that we should first infect Mars with Earth's microbes before people land on the red planet. These microbes could make Mars more suitable for human habitation, the researchers say. However, this idea runs counter to NASA's policy of protecting planets and other space objects from getting contaminated with earthly organisms. Now, of course, the most, uh, the single most contaminating earthly organism is humans. Uh, anyway, they never point out the most deadly organism on planet Earth uh, heading out to Mars and everywhere, and they actually treat this story seriously. And this is a long, involved piece, which I don't, I just don't have time to get into it now. But I do want to close with a quote by Elon Musk. We always need to hear from Elon in any Twilight Zone story. Quote, I think we should really do our very best 
to become a multi-planet species and we should extend consciousness, assumedly human consciousness, beyond Earth and we should do it now. Musk said. So anyway, guys, I, uh, I was going to spend some more time on that, and I might come by, but you know, I, I mentioned yesterday that uh, I heard this thing about signing up so you could get a good news story. Uh, and so, you know, close to midnight last night, you know, I went on the first good news story and found out about uh, the U.S. Army developing EMP weapons. And so now, uh, with that good news story, I, uh, I, I clicked on it today to find out the warm and fuzzy good news story to put a smile on my face this morning. And I get this story from the Washington Examiner. I don't know if this is the uh, Washington, D.C., I'm assuming. Okay. From this morning, to put a smile on your face, get rid of the babies. Distraught woman at AOC Town Hall urges eating babies, eating babies to fight climate change. No shit, Sherlock. Finally, some, uh, an intelligent uh, story from the mainstream media about, you know, individual and consumer actions we can all take to make a difference in the fight against climate change. And it happened right here at an AOC town hall meeting. Eat more babies to save the planet. <clears throat> All right. A seemingly troubled woman. A seemingly troubled woman. <clears throat> I would say a, a lucid a uh, Doomer chick <clears throat> at a town hall meeting hosted by Democratic New York Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in her district stood up to demand the Congresswoman support drastic measures to combat climate change such as eating babies. Okay, they. I have got to get this woman on the show, uh, they did not share the woman's name, so I do not know how to get, uh, actually, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping she's on Pile of Fish dating service right here in New York. Obviously, the woman of my dreams uh, is here, uh, and I don't have a name. God damn it. Anyway, what does the Doomer chick of my dreams have to say to AOC? <clears throat> Quote, We are not going to be here for much longer because of the climate crisis. We only have a few months left. I love, you know, talking to AOC, I love that you support the Green New Deal. But that's not going to get rid of fossil fuels. No shit, Sherlock. At uh, that, meaning the Green New Deal is not going to solve the problem fast enough. No shit, Sherlock. A Swedish professor, this is still uh, her quote at the town hall meeting, a Swedish professor said we can eat dead people. But that's not fast enough. No shit, Sherlock. So, I think your next campaign slogan needs to be this. We have got to start eating babies. No shit, Sherlock. All of you 
she went on turning to everyone in the crowd around her. All of you, you are a pollutant. Too much CO2? We have to start now. Please, you know, addressing AOC, you are so great. I am so happy that you are supporting a Green New Deal. Morning, morning. Morning. But it is not enough. No shit, Sherlock. Even if we were to bomb Russia, it's not enough. No shit, Sherlock. There's too many people, too much pollution. No shit, Sherlock. So, we have got to get rid of the babies. No shit, Sherlock. That's a big problem. Just stopping having babies is not enough. We need to eat the babies. No shit, Sherlock. This is very serious. Please give a response. Close quote. Uh, and after her speech, uh, she removed her jacket to reveal a t-shirt with the phrase, Save the planet, eat the children. Yes. Uh, so what, uh, how did AOC respond to this? Staffers of the New York Congresswoman approached the woman toward the end of her remarks as attendees in the room became increasingly unco uncomfortable. But uh, AOC is not one to back down. Uh, AOC responded by thanking the woman for her comments and saying, quote, one of the things that is very important to us is that we need to treat the climate crisis with the urgency that it does present. Luckily, we have more than a few months. We do need to hit net zero in several years but I think we all need to understand that there are a lot of solutions that we have and that we can pursue and that if we act in a positive way, there is space for hope. We are never beyond Hope. The New York Congresswoman later tweeted about the event and addressed the incident by asking for compassion for the woman. Yes. Asking for compassion for the most intelligent uh, comments that have ever been made at an AOC limp dick lefty town hall. Yes, I would absolutely, I have got to uh, get me a Save the Planet Eat the Children t-shirt. Oh God, I've got the wrong shirt on. Oh well. <laughs> it's our little secret. I uh, our little secret. Oh, Jesus. This one's going to come back uh, to bite me in the ass. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to start the rant over. Oh, God, I'm so fucked. Eat more babies. I suggest highly you get out there and eat more babies while you still can. And I can't wait for tomorrow's good news, warm and fuzzy story to put a smile on my doomer face. 
But now I'm going to, I guess I'm going to have to get serious with all the comments about these uh, starving grizzly bears. I'm going to have to come back uh, and delve deeper into the starving grizzly bears for today's real We Are So Fucked Doomsday Headline. Bye, guys.